Hey guys, it's Courtney, and today I'm going to share with you my TBR for the reading quest. If you are unfamiliar with the reading quest, I will be leaving all of the links down below, so make sure you check them out because sign up for the reading quest ends August 13th, which is the day that the quest begins. This challenge is based on a video game. You get to choose between four characters, a knight, a mage, a bard, and a rogue, and each character has a different quest you can follow. And there's a map. A map. I actually printed a copy of it out. Now, for some reason, the full map didn't print onto my paper, so you can't see the little characters, but the full quest is here. But your character can also gain experience points as well as health points, and your character can level up. But in order for your character to level up, you would have to keep track of the points. So if you guys need any more information on this, make sure you check out the links down below. It's all down there. Make sure you sign up before August 13th so we can all do this together. I have chosen to be a bard, and I'm really excited about it because the quests for the bard sound like so much fun. I mean, they all sound like fun, but this is the one that I've decided to start with. Before I get into my TBR, I have to give a few claps to CW of Rethink Ponder for coming up with such awesome illustrations. They are so stinking cute. So there are only five main quests, but there are also side quests that you can participate in in order to gain extra experience points, which is why my pile here is so big. The side quests are completely optional, so if I just so happen to not be able to read all of the books that I've chosen for the side quests, then I don't get any penalties or anything, as long as I still read the books for the five main quests. So they're not mandatory. I just went through and sorted all my books out really quickly. Quest number one is to read a book that has a TV slash movie adaption. For this I've chosen Treasure Island by R.L. Stevenson. This is something I've been wanting to pick up for a long time and I figured this would be the perfect opportunity. Quest number two is to read a fairy tale retelling. Winter by Marissa Meyer is my book of choice. This is a retelling of Snow White and it is also the fourth and final book in the Lunar Chronicles series and so I'm super excited to finally be finishing the series off. Quest number three is to read a book that has striking typography on the cover. I've chosen Uprooted by Naomi Novik because come on, look at that <laughs> striking typography. Quest number four is to read a book translated from another language. So I'm going to be reading Please Look After Mom by Kyung Suk Shin. I've been wanting to read this one for a minute now. <laughs> I actually picked this for a challenge I was doing a couple of months ago and I didn't get to it. That is why I chose this book. I really want to read this. <laughs> And quest number five is to read a banned book. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald is my banned book of choice. This is one of my sister's favorite books, and she always talks about how much she loves it, and so I'm super excited to finally be getting to it. Now for the side quests. Number one is potions. Pick a book concocted by two or more authors. For this I have chosen To Weave a Web of Magic by Claire Delacroix, Lynn Curland, Patricia McKillop, and Sharon Shin. Quest number two is multiplayer. Buddy read a book. I'll be reading The Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian by C.S. Lewis with my sister. I don't have my copy right now because she has it at the moment. But yeah, I'll be reading that. Number three is grind. Read a book with 500 plus pages. I've chosen Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers and this is also um, one of my tome topple picks. There's no rule against doing that, okay? You can check the blog post. Number four is time warp. Read a book that is set in either the past or the future. I've chosen The Second Bend in the River by Anne Rinaldi. Number five is Open World. Read whatever you want. I'm going with Ignite Me by Tahada Mafi. This is the third book in the Shatter Me series, and I'm really liking what's happening in this world right now. I kind of can't wait to jump into this. Number six is Respawn. Read a book you previously DNF'd. I'm going with Broken by Elizabeth Pulford. I'm kind of feeling like I'm going to regret this book of choice, but, um... Yeah, I'm going to try to get through it. I'm not going to get into any details about it, but there was a very good reason as to why I marked it DNF, okay? A very good reason. Number seven is expansion. Read a companion novel or short story. I'm going to be reading The Dark Wild by Pierce Torday. I haven't read the first book, but apparently the way that companion novels work is that you don't necessarily have to read the first book in order to be able to read the companion. So, yeah, I'm going to be reading this one. Although I do wish that I had the first book. Number eight is minigame. Read a graphic novel, novella, or poem collection. I will be reading volume one in the De Grayman series. I have all these De Grayman books on the top of my shelf. You can't see them in this shot, but they're right up there and I need to start reading them because they're just sitting up there collecting dust. So I need to get started on this series. 
And the ninth and final quest is Animal Companion. Read a book referencing an animal in the title. Across the Nightingale 4 by Lan Hearn is my book of choice, and this is one that I've been wanting to read for a long time. And it has Nightingale in the title, and a Nightingale is a type of bird. So I thought it would be a perfect choice for Animal Companion. So these are all of the delicious books that I will be reading during the reading quest. If you guys are participating, please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to know. And if you guys aren't sure about participating, you seriously don't have a lot of time to think about that because it starts August 13th. So make up your minds as fast as you can. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you guys next time.